Let's look at this interesting question where two identical tables are there. On first table, we are dropping a equilateral triangle with vertex touching the edge of the table. And on the other table, we are dropping a square with vertex touching the edge of the table. In between these two, we are dropping a second equilateral triangle whose vertex are touching the vertex of equilateral triangle and square. And the third vertex of equilateral triangle, it's touching the edge of the table. The side of the square is given as 6 cm. And using this data, we have to find the length of the table. So for our solution, let's first name the triangles. So we'll call this blue triangle as triangle ABC. This vertex we'll call it as D and these two E and F. We have to find length of the table and length of the table is nothing but BD. So basically we have to find the length BD. For the same, we'll do a small construction. Let's join EC. So we are joining EC here. And now we'll be considering two triangles, triangle ABD and ACE. Triangle ABD is this purple triangle we are talking about. And triangle ACE is this green triangle. So in these two triangles, AB and AC are equal. So AB and AC, they are forming two sides of both the triangles. So here if you'll see AB and AC are the sides of the two triangles. And uh, let's consider the angle BAD. Now angle BAD is this angle which is 60 degrees plus this pink small angle is there. Now here on the other side, if we'll consider this angle, this angle is also 60 degrees and this pink angle is there. So this BAD is equals to angle CAE. So that is CAE. Also, the two other sides, that's the side AD and AE. These are equal. So yes, by side angle side, this purple triangle and this green triangle, they are equal to each other. So they are uh, congruent triangles. And uh, as the triangles are congruent, we can say that the corresponding sides are equal, the corresponding angles are equal. So corresponding angle means this angle B, this is 60 degrees. Now here this angle B, that will be equal to angle C in triangle ACE. So this particular angle, this will also be 60 degrees. Also, from the first triangle, the side BD, this side BD will be this side BD. This will also be equals to CE. So basically when we are saying we have to find the length BD, it's same as we have to find the length CE. So now let's consider the triangle CFE. So this triangle CFE is this pink triangle which is there. So now in this triangle, if we look, then this angle, this angle is 60 degrees. This angle we have already concluded. This angle is also 60 degrees. So this remaining angle, this remaining angle will also be 60 degrees. Now this is square is here. So this angle is 90 degrees. Now here we have, we have EF is there. Now in this square, EF is same as this length that is 6 meters. So using this triangle, we have to basically find the length of CE. We can do it in two ways. One easy is trigo, trigonometry. Other those who are not aware of trigonometry, we can just simply complete this triangle. So this triangle, same triangle we have made on the other side. Now this is forming a equilateral triangle whereby EF is the height. And we know that h is root 3 upon 2a. So h is 6. 6 is root 3 upon 2. a is the side. Side is ce. Solving it, we can get ce is 4 root 3. Or simply we can use the trigonometry. So we can say that the length ce is nothing but ef into, sorry, ef upon sine 60. 
again sin 60 is root 3 by 2. So when we put value of sin 60 as root 3 by 2, we'll get CE as same as 4 root 3. And here we have already concluded that CE and BD, they are representing the length of the table. And thus length of the table is nothing but 4 root 3 meters. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I'll see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.